Hey everyone, it's me, Mary, and welcome to another episode of Floss Tube. I'm recording on a Wednesday uh, because I'm back home and I'm able to because my last video I recorded on a Monday, so it has been over a week since I put out a video. But I just want to thank everybody for all the really kind wishes. Um, it means a lot to me that you guys were really sweet. A lot of you was were hoping and uh, saying, like, I hope you get better soon. So thank you. Um, I'm not 100% I'm not 100% better, but I am feeling a lot better. And of course, when I'm back home, uh, yeah. So my boyfriend stayed here for a few days and that was nice. And we were going to go and see uh, the nice guys, but I was not feeling well. So we didn't get to do that. But uh, yeah, that was kind of sucky. And then uh, he left Monday and that's always sad. <laughs> so he's supposed to visit this month. I forgot it was June, but yeah, it's June. Uh, yeah, June 1st. So happy June 1st, everybody. And I hope all of the Americans had a great Memorial Day. But I have a haul. I'm going to show you progress in my whip. And I'm going to do a tag. And uh, again, I don't have a lot to show, but I have a lot of haul. Um, so the first item I have is uh, packaging for this trolley needle. Uh, I actually have this out and in my bedroom, but I bought this because I've seen a few people using this when they were stitching to make the uh, the threads lay flat, and I railroad stitch uh, whenever possible, so yeah, sometimes that doesn't completely work because my thread still twists no matter what I do, um, but I have this in my bedroom, and I got this now because I'm one handed stitcher because I'm a one handed stitcher. This doesn't really work for me at the moment. I tried using it and I just didn't love the way it was working for me. Uh, I paid six dollars and something for this. So it's not super expensive, but I'm going to keep it for when I decide to uh, do two handed stitching whenever that is. And uh, yeah, I got this off of Amazon and it smells a little weird. It smells almost like garlic or something. It's it's bizarre, but yeah, I got this. And then I also got uh, a package of Thread Heaven, three, uh, th a bulk pack of Thread Heaven. This is cheaper on 123 Stitch than it is on Amazon. If you buy like one of these individually, they're over $5, which is crazy because 123 Stitch has them like for $2 or something at think each uh but to buy them on one two three stitch i think it's like nine dollars and something after like everything goes into account i think i i'm honestly not sure but uh i get free shipping because i'm a prime member on amazon so uh it, it ended up costing like twelve dollars and something for three of these which i don't think is horrible it's it's not great but it's not too bad so i have a pack of those and then I went to Staples today because I went to print something out on the computer upstairs and the printer was having issues. It's an older printer. I've had it for, I don't know, five years, I think, maybe more than that. I'm not sure. But I, uh, I went to go use it today and it had an error and I've never seen that before. So I looked it up, tried to do what it said and it was still giving me errors. So I went to Staples and got a printer that had really good reviews online. And it's getting darker at sides, so the lighting, I apologize. Um, but it's like almost four o'clock in the afternoon. I usually record my videos in the mornings, but I was busy this morning. I went to Staples, got a printer, got an HP printer. It seemed to work well, but it doesn't connect to my uh, computers, my Mac computer upstairs. So I wanted it for that. And I'm going to have to take it back. Uh, and here in Canada, we have to pay like a, um, oh, my boyfriend bought a printer on Amazon. I don't think he had to pay it, but I had to pay her like this uh, $8 recycling fee, which is kind of ridiculous. But uh, yeah, I had to buy that. And uh, so I'm going to take back the printer tomorrow. I don't feel like driving back over there tonight. And when I was first buying it, I used my American card because I was so used to using my credit card. Uh, in the States, my US card that I accidentally used it. I went through and I'm like, oh, damn, I accidentally used my American card. I didn't mean to do that. So canceled the whole thing, gave me the money back and then redid it. And I felt bad that I, she had to do it for me again. But uh, yeah, so got a new printer, but going to take it back. It was a decent deal. It was like, I think it was 60 on sale. And then it ended up being like almost 70 with like, no, it was over 70 with ship, with tax and that $8 fee. So 
yeah, and the, I think the ink is a little pricey for it too. So yeah, I'm going to take it back and just see what else I can get. And the fact that it doesn't work with my older computers, you know. And then when I was there, these were kind of pricey, but I got a three pack of these Sharpie uh, clickable, retractable, ultra fine precision uh, mar markers. Uh, my boyfriend had mentioned these and I bought oh yeah i don't have a mirror to show you guys but i bought uh when i was at walmart i got um two of these like sharpie pens and i wanted them for uh marking my uh bobbins instead of stickers and then i realized no these aren't going to work for that so i'll just use them for as regular pens i guess but these were like eight seven dollars and something i think so and then we have tax here in canada Oh, I'm used to my way <laughs> there's no tax but I got these and they have an ultra fine tip so I'm excited to use these and uh yeah I've never used retractable sharpies before but I got these as well and then I was at uh Michael's the other day with my boyfriend and I didn't look the other day for this item but I went back today to see and I wanted to get one of those bobbin uh bobbin winders dmc makes them and stuff they sell them at michael's my store did not have them did not have anything like that so i didn't get that so the trip to michael's was a bust today but i did get some pieces of uh, felt the other day uh there's eight here i believe uh there's seven but i used one uh these were 59 cents each and I got them in this like antique white color. Uh, I got these to use with my Q-snaps. Uh, so yeah, these are perfect for that. They're, I didn't even think of that until I saw somebody use them. They're pretty thick considering they were not, they were pretty cheap. Uh, yeah, they're by Kratology Basic Felt Antique White. They're nine by 12 size. So yeah, uh, I got a bunch of them so that I can uh, use these with Q-snaps and stuff and uh yeah so i got those and then something kind of not stitch related that i got today because i was at the mall was i got a candle from bath and body works this is sparkling waves i love this packaging oh my god this is really really i like this packaging a lot uh last year they had some of the lids uh this is like bevel or like this which is a cool textured look but they had uh like compasses on some which i really like but uh it smells really it's it's weird because this doesn't really smell that much but then the lid smells really citrusy i remember smelling this in the states and something that i don't like about canada is they don't tell you what is in this um yeah it doesn't say but i like the packaging uh i believe it has citrus in it i'm going to i'll like put an annotation what this actually has in it because i'm not really sure but this was 15 dollars, and then i saved 20 percent, so it came out to i think 13 dollars something after tax so not bad and then i did get a coupon for the uh i got a coupon for 10 dollars off of 40 and then uh advertising the uh bath and body works semi-annual sale so i'm excited for that up to 75 percent off the sales are really really good uh starting june 6th so in a few days and uh featuring sun ripened raspberry which i'm excited about because i really like raspberry i like berry scents and i like citrusy scents a lot so mango i was like ooh, mandarin but mango mandarin so i did get this i didn't go overboard there wasn't really a lot of scents that I liked. Uh, I almost got, there was another candle that I almost got, but we have, my boyfriend has it in the States, so I didn't bother, but I like Bath & Body Works candles. They always smell really, really good, so I will see what they have at the semi-annual sale. And then as far as actual more haul, I have this DMC Brilliant Macaw pattern. This is what the finished product looks like. Uh, if you guys recall, in one of my previous videos, I showed a haul that I got from DMC, and they sent me the something manatee, and I didn't order that one. I ordered this one. So the Brilliant McCall leaflet, this is stitched on uh, Lemon Twist Ada, which is actually really pretty. I wouldn't have thought to do it on a, a like a, a lot, like a green color 
uh, but yeah, it actually stands out really well. So the uh, the chart is inside. It actually has a lot of colors. It has like something like 30 colors, which I was surprised. But it's done a 14 count Ada, two strands. So yeah, I'm excited. And the Manatee one had an ad on the back. It didn't show what it looked like finished. So I'm excited for this. This did get sent here to Canada. So I can finally show you what it looks like. But yeah, it's cool. I like birds a lot and uh it doesn't seem to have a lot of back stitch just mainly in the flowers and on the bird little sections of the bird like the beak and stuff so i'm excited for this because i like birds and i like macaws so i like this it's really simple so excited for that and then i actually went ahead and got a couple of charts from heaven and earth designs i did get three but I only printed out two when I was at my boyfriend's place because I bought the third one here and I couldn't print it out. So I'll show you guys when I actually am able to print out the third one, uh, what the other one is. I'll keep it a secret for now. But if you were on my Instagram, you will have seen this stuff. So I picked up the Lackadaisy Memorial. I was really, t I didn't know which one I wanted to get because their charts were 30% off. I was like, well, I don't know. I have a bunch on my... Uh, on my like four priority list and uh i have like i don't know probably eight mm, about eight on my f um, as listed as four so uh my boyfriend wanted ideas for anniversary even though he's bought me a bunch of stuff so i gave him my uh heaven earth uh wish list so who knows but i might give him uh, the threads that I need for these and see maybe he'll pick them up but yeah so I got this one and it is by Tracy Butler I love the colors in this this is my favorite one of the Tracy Butler pieces that are available on the website uh, it is 400 by 411 it uses 88 colors I think I still needed like 25 colors even though I have a good collection uh, so that's what that looks like really really pretty I like this one a lot I think it's beautiful uh, I love the style of it I love the colors and yeah I don't know if I'm going to be stitching it yet on uh, even weave or Ada because I really like the I, I'm so used to Ada but I know even weave everybody loves it so I have not decided yet and then the second one that I printed out that I can show you is this one and I mentioned I did show these in like my wish list like my tag video uh, but this is by Evgeny Lushpin, and it's our secret meeting place, and this is uh, for Venice. And yeah, this one also contains 88 colors, uh, 625 wide by 470 height, or 407 height. So this one is going to be significantly bigger, but it's beautiful. I love the detail in this. This is so pretty. And I was looking up Evgeny Lushpin's work um on his website or just online and he had a lot of really beautiful pieces so yeah i think uh i love all the details and i'm hoping to go to venice someday uh i'm hoping to go to italy someday because it's, it's definitely someplace that i want to go and then the last things that i really have to show you that i bought are three uh cross stitch patterns i do actually have uh another two things that i did buy uh, from eBay and they're at my boyfriend's place. They got there when we were leaving so I didn't get a chance the day we were leaving Friday. I didn't get a chance to pick them up. Uh, they got there at like two something in the afternoon. We left way early in the morning. So yeah I they're at my boyfriend's place but he said they were packaged really well and he opened them up and showed them to me they're a gift uh two gifts for people or actually two gifts for my mom for Christmas so anyway those are kits but I got these off of eBay and they're by Arenko Originals and I got it was buy one, two get one free and this is the free one I really wanted this one so this is the one I got free it's Starry Night Over the Rhone inspired by Van Gogh's painting and most people know Starry Night. I mean, that's readily available. I saw this one and I was like, wow, that's beautiful. I don't know. I I'm liking this as much as Starry Night or if not, maybe a little bit more. But it's uh, 16 inches by 11 inches. And it's designed for 14 count fabric and DMC cotton floss. So this is beautiful. Came packaged really, really well. Uh, and I can't show you, but inside it had, a, the first page was a chart. And I looked at it, I'm like, oh my god, I can't sit that. Those squares were so small. I was so disappointed. I'm like, no, what the hell? But then I realized, I'm like, 
there's no way anybody can stitch this. I don't get it. And then I realized, okay, this is probably like an overview. And it was the, uh, the, the rest of the re the regular pages are all like a normal size, but came really packaged really well. Very quick shipping. Uh, overall, very impressed with this. And then it also has these like floss cards, which I don't know. It has like floss card one and then floss card two and same thing on this side, but all the symbols are, oh no, there's, they're different on the back. Okay. Yeah, I guess, I don't know why they're two-sided, but okay. So it comes with two floss cards like so, so you can see the symbols are different. So that's a nice touch. I mean, I like that a lot. I don't have a hole punch, but I'm sure my boyfriend does. So this was packaged really, really well. And yeah, I'm looking at the page now that is minuscule and it is like, oh my God. Um, yeah, I don't know how anybody could stitch that. I'm not even sure if I'm able to show you guys, but I'll show you like, I don't know if you can see that, but there's like a little tiny bit of the chart. You're not gonna be able to get that, anything out of that, but look at how small that is. It's like, no, nobody could stitch that. So <laughs> I'm glad it's not the actual size. And yeah, that's hard to put back in there. Uh, so I got that one. It was free shipping and buy one, get, buy two, get one free. So one of the ones I bought is Sunrise at Sea. This is by, inspired by Claude Monet's Impressions Painting. It's going to be 14 by 12 when it's finished. Uh, 14 count fabric, ivory or white, and uh, DMC floss. So that's what this one looks like. Again, these are by Aranko Originals. So really, really pretty. You can tell that I'm into kind of impressionist paintings. Uh, so I really like that. And then the third one is one that I mentioned and you guys told me that uh, Mystic Stitches does. These were significantly, these were like three or four dollars cheaper. I think they were like 12 something each. I forgot how much these were, but they were cheaper than Mystic Stitches. So that's why I went with uh, this. And I got Water Lilies in Bloom instead of just Water Lilies uh, by Claude Monet. So this one is 14 by 14, 14 count fabric and DMC floss. So that's what that looks like. Again, impressionist. So I really like these and they're going to be square, which is hard to find at least 14. No. Yeah. These are going to be hard to find frames for because they're all square. I didn't even think of that. These two are both like square, I think. No, 14 by 12, so this isn't quite square, and this one is square, because uh, the only other thing that I have uh, that I can't show you guys is I picked up a frame for my friend's uh, birth record. I framed it myself. I'm really happy with it. It's over there. Uh, I went to Michael's, and they actually had a frame on clearance that was 14 by 14. No, I'm sorry. It was 12 by 12. They had 12 by 12. And it was originally, I don't know how much it was originally, but it was on sale for $12. And I did not mind paying that. It was the last one. It was in white. So I will insert a picture of what the finished product looked like um, framed and everything. I did frame it myself. Uh, I'm not going to show it just because of privacy details and stuff for the baby. But I will just insert a picture of, if you've seen my Instagram, you'll have seen this already. But if uh, I'm going to insert a picture of what it looks like completely done, it's a finished, it's a fully finished object now. So next time I see her, I'm going to give it to her. And uh, yeah, so I'll insert a picture of what that looks like now. Okay, so the last thing that I hauled, I mean, my boyfriend gave these me, gave these to me, not gave these me, gave these to me uh, because he works in construction uh, and he got me a ton of these like file folders. He picked up a ton of different colors, some purple, yellow, blue, green, and red. So I have these for, because uh, he said he had a bunch of these at work and just picked them up. I'm going to be keeping my uh cross stitch patterns and stuff in here that don't come in kits and uh it's gonna be easier to organize that so that is everything i hauled so my boyfriend got a ton of these for me which is very sweet of him but that is everything that i hauled and i will show you progress on my one whip uh i did not work i did not do anything on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, or Monday. Uh, I didn't get work progress done on my cross stitch. So this is like, 
I think like two or three days work. Uh, I did not do any work on my uh, lighthouse beacon, my cliffside beacon. Uh, so I will show you the work that I have done on my lakeside village. And this is it here. I'm making pretty decent progress on this, considering I have another column uh, finished. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with how this is looking. Cause yeah, and I'm, I'm pretty happy with the progress I've made in uh, in just a few days. So I will insert a picture of what this looked like last time we saw it and what it looks like now. So that is my progress. I'm thinking I might start another project. I won't be starting any of those patterns or anything for a while until I actually get material for them. Uh, but I'm not the type of person, I know some people like buy so much uh, stash and then they never really do a lot of their stuff. I'm, I mean, hey, power to you if you can afford it. I can't do that though. I actually have to finish the stuff. So even though I have a, an okay, I don't have a huge collection of stuff. I have a decent collection of stuff. Uh, even though I have a good size collection for me, for being somebody who's only been stitching for a few months now, I like to complete projects. I have no idea where that snowman, uh, guardian angel is uh it's here somewhere i just don't know where i put it <laughs> oh i do have one more thing but i'm not sure where it is at the moment uh my boyfriend and i went to a secondhand store and i did get a frame uh for two dollars so i'm not sure where it is so mm. yeah i don't feel like editing so i'm not sure where it is but it's just a frame it's just a wooden frame so anyway that is the progress that i did that's the whips i did or my progress on my whips whip whip i didn't work on both i just worked on that one and i may start another one i haven't figured out yet if i'm going to but it's most likely that i'm going to uh and then uh the big haul that i had so anyway i'm going to do a tag i'm going to do brian c's super stitcher uh super tag uh i found this a while ago i meant to do it a while ago I forgot so this video isn't super long so i figured that i would do it today so uh, it's based on different superheroes or, yeah, superheroes slash villains. Uh, Robin, Iron Man, The Flash, The Joker, The Hulk, uh, Wonder Woman, and Batman versus Superman. So I have it on my computer screen, so if I look over to the side, that's what it is. But, Robin, what is something you started or stitched that is completely not your style, but for some reason grew on you? Everything that I've stitched so far has been stuff that i've enjoyed it hasn't really been anything that isn't my style uh yeah it hasn't really been anything that's like different to me or unique to me uh the baby the baby project that i made for my friend was a little bit different than everything else i've been working on but uh yeah there's nothing that's really grown on me that hasn't been my style as far as i can tell but uh iron man Say something nice about your stitching, uh, your best stitchy quality. Uh, for example, your stitches lay flat, your beads always sit perfectly, do you stitch very quickly? I haven't used beads yet, so that one doesn't apply. Um, I've gotten compliments about my stitching and uh, saying that it looks really, really good. I'm super critical of myself, I guess. Uh, I'm almost, I'm also modest about my like work and photography and stuff. Um, but I was framing the uh, the baby record for my friend and I wanted it perfectly square because it was a 12 by 12 and I bought a 12 by 12 frame for it and there's room so it says the stitch size is 12 by 12 but it's a little bit smaller than that so uh oh no maybe it's not because I didn't do the border around it Never mind. I guess if I had done the border, it wouldn't have worked. So I'm glad I didn't do the border because there was a border around it. And I omitted that and I changed the sun and stuff. So yeah, I guess I saved myself some work. Um, but as far as, uh, oh, what was the question? Uh, there's my memory for you guys. Uh, say something nice about your stitching. Uh, I can be a little bit critical. I did not want a frame that wasn't square for that piece because it was a square. It's meant to be a square. And I I finally framed it the way I liked it. 
And then I realized it's a little off. So then I took it out and I had to fix it. And my boyfriend thought I was, you know, he's like, you know, baby, you don't have, you're being too critical of yourself. I'm like, no, I want it to be perfect. I spent all this time on it. I wanted to be perfect. And then I realized it had a little bit of specks of dust or dirt or something on it. So I was like, damn it. But I wasn't fixing it. So I'm happy with how it looks now. Um, so it's something kind of negative as I tend to be a little critical, but the question is what is like a good quality or your best sitchy quality? I am somebody who finishes my pieces. Like I start on something I will finish and I, I guess I'm a fast stitcher. I've been told by a bunch of people on I've been told by a bunch of you guys and on Facebook and stuff that I'm a fairly fast stitcher. So yeah, <laughs> I have a, a good amount of time to actually stitch. So, and now that I'm back home, I don't have to go to bed at like 10 every night with my boyfriend. So that helps a little bit because I stayed, I stayed up after we Skyped last night and, uh, and stitched for a while. So that helped. Uh, the flash, what is your quickest finish? My quickest finish has to be the uh the the lord of the rings bookmark that i came up with the design for my boyfriend it took me a few hours i was done in a day i was done within the day uh of making it so it was a really quick stitch uh for me and that was uh the fastest project that i finished uh the joker show us your craziest back everything else i have is framed so i'm gonna show you my lakeside village because it's a little crazy but that is the back. And I mean, to be fair, I thought, oh, it looks horrible, but it actually does look like the front. I mean, there's the front and there's the back. And you guys can see that there are some vertical lines at the beginning because of the way I stitched it. So a little disappointed at the bottom, but you can't really notice it at the bottom on the front. But the bottom, I mean, this looks pretty good though. I mean, it's not the best. It's it's really a jumbled mess. You guys can see that. But I mean, I'm happy with it. I was watching uh, oh, Stitchcraft and Scissordry's videos, and she was showing her back of her project, and she was saying how they were so messy. I'm thinking, no, they look great. What are you talking about? No, they look really good. I don't know. So my back is horrendous then. Um, yeah, I think it looks good. I was thinking it looks not that great, but looking at it on the camera, it actually doesn't look bad. So that's my craziest back. Um, the birth record looks quite a bit neater than that. But uh, yeah, I think that actually looks not too bad. Uh, the Hulk, what is your largest whip? Definitely my, definitely, I had to put it up right side up. Definitely this, this is my biggest whip. So yeah, I still have quite a ways to go, but this is my biggest whip so far until I work on like a heaven and earth or something. Uh, Batman versus Superman. Do you prefer projects with very few colors or a lot of colors? Hmm. I've really, I mean, the birth record had a decent amount of colors. The, this has a lot of colors in it. Um, the project that I made for my boyfriend, uh, the, I love you to the moon and back. Uh, no, that was for my mom. Never mind. Uh, the, um, the sunshine one that I made for my boyfriend, that didn't have that many colors. That one, I enjoyed a lot making it. Um, it depends on the project. I mean, in the future, I may make something that's like gradiated black and white, uh, like a grayscale image that I print uh, that I come up with a pattern for for my boyfriend. So I think I love a color, but I mean, if it doesn't need a lot of color, it can still look really good. I think color adds definition, but I mean, some black and whites look really good or some projects with very few colors. I like both. I mean, I'm not too picky about that. And finally, uh wonder woman who is your favorite superhero i am going to go with deadpool even though he's not real technically a superhero he's kind of like an anti-hero i really like him i really enjoyed the movie uh ryan reynolds was awesome as deadpool he did a fantastic job so i i like deadpool a lot i uh i like deadpool i don't know a ton about his myth mythology and whatnot but I thought they did a great job with the movie and he likes the Golden Girls and I like the Golden Girls. 
and yes i think he did i think the movie was fantastic they did a really really good job with it and it was great that they you know rated r deadpool's the type of character where it had to be a rated r movie if it wasn't it wasn't going to work or it wasn't going to work as well as it would have with uh with rated r movies so yeah deadpool's definitely my favorite so that's the pig i will link it below uh, I'll put the questions probably below or something. I don't know. I'll, I'll link it. Anyway, I found it online. But that's about it. So the haul, the whip, the tag, uh, that's about it. But I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend and week the rest of the week because it's a Wednesday. And that's about it for me. So if you guys want to leave any comments, suggestions, anything below, feel free to. I respond as promptly as possible i'm usually on youtube watching floss tube or something and if i see somebody has commented i will respond back even if it's just a thank you or whatever i'm still ma making my way through videos i still have a uh, uh, stitch crap oh, god i can't remember her name um what is it i don't want to mess it up uh, yeah, it is Stitchcraft. Stitchcraft and Scissordry. I still like that name a lot. I still have a few of her videos left and then continuing on to other people's videos. So I haven't seen anybody else do my tag yet. Uh, I've linked it all the ones that I found on YouTube uh, through uh, the playlist that I created. And uh, every time I put in Mary Ellen into the... Uh, youtube search it always shows the new doll the american girl doll uh that they've come out with the name mary ellen i think it's like just one word though but uh yeah so if you guys want to do the tag feel free to i love seeing people's responses um i've had a few people do it but not anyone as of late i think like two weeks ago three weeks ago i'm not sure i know the questions were a little bit obscure and not everybody can answer them but if you can't answer all of them that's fine i just like to see people do the tag uh but that's about it so thank you so much for watching i'm trying to look in the actual camera instead of like looking down at my computer screen um I'm going to try to get better at that. I, I know how to do it, but I'm just making sure everything's in focus uh, the whole time and making sure I, I'm actually showing stuff like on screen and what have you. But that is my video. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and feel free to, again to leave any comments, questions, you know, anything you want below. I will respond. I'm very good with responding to people. And if you guys want to subscribe, feel free to i'm at 450 subscribers now which is awesome i uh i'm really excited you guys that means the world to me it, it it's exciting you know i didn't think i would get that many people if i haven't been on floss tube that long so the fact that i have that many people is exciting and uh it, it means a lot to me you guys are awesome and uh it's it's exciting so as I've said before, actually I have 453 now, which is exciting. Uh, when I reach 500 subscribers, I'm probably going to do a giveaway of some kind. I was thinking between like a one, two, three stitch uh, haul or a haul. Yeah, a haul for me. Uh, a one, two, three stitch giveaway, like a gift card or uh, a heaven and earth designs uh prize so i'm leaning more towards like a heaven and earth prize because it'll be something i will go on your wish list by priority see what you have as like a top priority item as a chart it'll be a chart a pdf chart and i'll look and then i will pick one randomly that i see that like i like uh it could be, I probably, it would be like a two, three, or four. I don't think a one, but it would probably be a two, three, or four. Uh, I'd pick one that I think would be cool. So I haven't decided yet. That's probably what I'm going to do, but that won't be for a while until I reach at least 500 subscribers. But again, you guys mean a lot to me. It means a lot, all the comments and things that I'm receiving. And yeah, I do receive an occasional thumbs down, which is... <laughs> It's from people, somebody who wasn't subscribed to me anyway, so it's not that big of a deal. But uh, you guys are awesome, and it means a lot to me. And uh, yeah, I am I thought that I would record a video today, and it is getting darker out. But I wanted to record a video today because I had time, 
and I will, when I'm able to get the printer and print out the other uh, Hade, I will show you guys. But I was watching, before I leave, this is me, I ramble. Before I leave, I was watching, oh god, I can't think of who it was, but she has a series of videos out. There's three videos, and she shows how she preps uh, her Hades and how she, like, gets everything in gets everything going for a hate and i watched that just to see and uh it was super informative and she was doing this chart by uh gelsinger and it was an ornament and it was a really really cute snowman so i went on the hate website looked and added all of the regular snowman charts to my wish list because they are adorable. And I almost bought one of them uh, during the sale. But I think three is a good amount to have considering I'm not stitching on them yet at all. Uh, Heaven and Earth is always having a sale of some kind. And I thought about getting an addict's pouch, but... or an Add, is it called addict's pouch addict's packet i thought i was getting one of those but yeah i might ask somebody for that as like a christmas gift or something and and see what pops up um, anyway this is getting longer now but i thought i would do a video for you guys because why not and uh, i tend to ramble and not show a lot but yeah so be sure to follow me on instagram if you want the link or the username and stuff is at the beginning of the video as always and uh links are down below and i will include links for the charts that i bought where i bought them on uh ebay and the uh the dmc one and uh the hades i'll link below what what ones they are lackadaisy memorial i want to say lackadaisy but it's lackadaisy memorial and then our secret meeting place so is it for me? Yeah, our secret meeting place. But anyway, I'm going to quit this video. Stop it because it's getting super long now. But thank you so much for watching. It, again, means so much to me. You guys are awesome. And uh, yeah, so hopefully you enjoyed this video. And uh, yeah, hopefully you have a good day and a good week. And I will talk to you soon. Bye, everyone.